All right. Um, we're going to talk about um, scripting mistakes, like creating overly complex solutions. Now, the go-to move for some developers, especially those who come from a computer engineering background, is to get in the designer and just start scripting away. And while that can work, understanding when to create a script versus using a binding or simply the built-in function of a component that accomplishes the exact same thing will help you to build faster and avoid any strange issues down the road. Um, so ask yourself, am I using a script to set the value of a component and I can use a binding instead? Is there some built-in functionality that meets my project needs? So Ignition comes with you know, all these great components. You have the Ignition Exchange. So before you start with a lot of complex scripting, just, just have a look at what's available. Now, here's a common mistake. Um, a user is not familiar with binding, um, so they're going to add a parameter to a view or a window. And then if that parameter changes, they're going to have a script, and that script's going to go around and it's going to find all the components that use that parameter, and it's going to reset all the values. So this is overly complex, and it's difficult to troubleshoot. If you have a consistent tag structure in place, indirect binding is going to work hands in hand with the parameters the tag address team will automatically be updated when a parameter value changes. Scripting functions are a great tool and they can be incredibly useful, but having too many in a single view and linking them all together can leave you chasing down a problem if one were to occur. So before you open that script editor, check that Ignition doesn't already have that feature or functionality built in because most of the time it does. Be cautious if one script is calling another script and then calling yet another script. This is a sign that something should be simplified. Having unorganized scripts is another simple mistake that, be, that can become a mess really quickly. Defining your scripting functions allows you to use them repeatedly. If you find yourself tempted to copy and paste several lines of code, it's very likely time for a function. Beyond that, Categorize your scripts into libraries with standard locations and naming conventions. You're trying to make finding the script you're looking for as easy as possible. Be consistent with structure and naming. Group scripts into packages. Another thing to keep in mind is to use comments in your code. Do you know what that script does and why? If you come back to a script months later and there's no comment on it, you might have no idea what it does. Um, this has happened to me. No matter how great of a scripter I think I am, I'm going to forget. I need to put those comments in there. Um, so we keep hitting on the idea of repeatability again and again. If you don't know what your scripts do, you're not going to be able to reuse them. The final mistake we'll cover today is misunderstanding the scope of a project. There's a difference between how scripts act based on whether they cause a gateway event or a client event. Furthermore, depending on screen size and resolution, scripts can act and look different in the designer versus in the client versus the gateway. For example, a script that is interacting with the vision client tags cannot be called from a gateway timer script. Navigation will not look the same in the designer versus the gateway. Similarly, when adding properties, understand when to add custom properties versus using session properties to store the data within the session itself. A custom property is only visible to that parent view. Now, a session property is shared between all the pages and views in the session. So use a session property if you want all the views on a page to refer to one parameter, or if you need to switch between views using the same parameters. You can then bind the view to the session property and set it once. This is gonna avoid saying, well, I know this parameter, and now every time I open up another view, I'm gonna pass it over there or I'm gonna make sure that, that everything on this, on this same page gets, gets this parameter set via a script. Bind it to a session property one time and it's gonna change for you automatically. Um, now message handlers are also a great way to pass data between components and views. A message handler can take action on the data that was passed to it and it could refresh a table, populate a flex repeater, or add a new pin to a chart. The possibilities are endless. Now, before incorporating message handlers into your project, consider whether the scope should be limited to the session, page, or a specific view. For example, if you've opened a pop-up to pass the value back to a view, the message handler scope should be set to page. 
if your message will only interact with components on the same view, you can use the view scope. No other views will respond. Now, if your message handler doesn't seem to be responding, check the scope. That's almost always the source of the issue. Perfect. Thank you, Mara. And so uh, one last recap to sum up scripting here. Common scripting mistakes include creating overly complex solutions, having unorganized scripts, and misunderstanding the scope of the project. The solutions are understanding when to use scripting versus when to use bindings, not overdoing it with scripts, and defining the scripting functions uh, and categorizing them into libraries with standard locations and naming conventions. Uh, you should also remember to use commenting code so you can reuse these scripts you've already written. You don't know how many times I've come back a week later after writing something that I thought was really simple and really clear, only having to reverse engineer the whole thing because I didn't comment it. So please comment your code. Um, and lastly, uh, please consider the scope, gateway versus client versus designer, so that you can also know if you want to have custom properties, session properties, and when to incorporate message handling.